Hi, hello, welcome and welcome to Little Sla YouTube channel. And in this video, today we are going to see about custom thread groups. So, what is a custom thread group? So, in we have the thread group. So, what does this custom thread group is going to bring in to add the efficiency of J meter? So, let's see them one by one in this video. And this custom thread groups have five thread group types with within service so for example like if I'm going to a test plan and here I can see so I have five different thread groups one is the stepping thread group and then we have the ultimate thread group and then we have the concurrency thread group we have arrivals thread group and we have the free form arrivals thread group and these five thread groups opens huge possibilities to the testers to create required schedules for test runs and this plugin we can install it with the same way I can go to the options the plugin manager and under the plugin manager we could see the custom thread groups and once you install it we just restart the JMeter and we can use these thread groups so first let's start with the stepping J meter I mean stepping thread group so I'm going to threads and I will add the stepping thread group and let me copy this HTTP request to the thread group here so now we have a HTTP request which has which requests the value in here so let's now bring in some more listeners to the thread group so let me add the view results tree then let me add our basic three graphs so this will help us to understand how much active threads were used or how much active threads were getting executed during the threads and then we have the next one which is the response times over time so this actually helps us to understand the response times and where we reach at which particular user load we reach the maximum user response times and then we have the transactions per second so we have the basic three thread I mean graphs the listeners and the thread group so let's now see so the difference between the normal thread group so in the normal thread group we can see that we can just define the number of threads and we can define the the ramp up time and then we can either define the loop count whether it can be 10 or 100 or whatever but we cannot define the exact duration of the test so that is the difference either we can make it as infinite or we can give the loop count but this stepping thread group so we are here we have a huge option that's what I initially said we have a huge possibility of running the test so we can start the test with the maximum number of threads so say for example if we want to have 1000 even we can ramp up till 1000 threads but we will start the test with basically 10 threads and then we'll wait for 10 seconds or even we can start after five seconds so why do we need to wait for the first five seconds so initially we can monitor that during or before the test what is the performance of the application so we can monitor the CPU we can monitor the memory and we can monitor every resources before we start the test to understand how they react so see for example even we can have it for 60 seconds and we can monitor the resources for 60 seconds and after that we can monitor how does the resources were utilized during the load test so for now since for this sample test let's have it for like for five seconds and then after the 10 threads so now we are after executing 10 threads. so after then 10 threads we will increase another 10 threads and then we'll add every 10 threads for every 60 seconds with a ramp up of five seconds or we can even increase make it to 10 seconds and then finally we'll hold the test for five minutes so for that let's keep it as 300 seconds and finally stop five threads for every one second so this is how we will run the test so let's 
again change it to 100 users so if we change so this is going to be the maximum user or the maximum thread groups that we are going to test so we can have it as 50 in case if we want to run the test for 50 users so here we can see when we we can add 10 users for every one minute so after every one minute automatically the user load gets increased and we reach the maximum 50 thread groups so first we start we wait for five seconds and then after that we start 10 users for every one minute using a ramp up of 10 seconds with which means that every second we will add one user during the ramp up and then we'll hold the test for 300 seconds which is five minutes and then finally we stop the test with five user ramp down for every one second and let's now start the test and see how does it work and whether we were able to achieve the same active threads over time so let's start the test and we'll meet after the end of the test before that let me disable this I can better remove this one to avoid any discrepancies so make sure whenever we run any test we make sure that we are not having any other thread groups in it so let me start the test now So here we can see that we were able to achieve the planned thread group or we were able to achieve the number of threads and we were able to achieve the ramp up and then the ramp down with what we have planned and we can also see that the response times or we are the test and the transactions per second what we have achieved so all these setup works when we do or when we try this thread group rather than using the default thread group that is provided by jmeter so let's now move on to the second thread group so the next thread group that we're going to try is the arrivals or we will try with the ultimate thread group and let's see what's the difference between the ultimate thread group and the stepping thread group so here the stepping thread, thread group we can see that we can design or we can decide the number of threads and how much time do we need to wait and then the ramp up threads for every second and the total duration of the test but in the ultimate thread group we can see the th starting thread count so see for example let's have this starting as 50 and then the initial delay is going to be zero so that we can immediately kick start the test and the startup time up is going to be 30 seconds let's keep it to five seconds and then let's hold the test for 60 seconds the shutdown time is going to be 10 seconds so let's now see how does this work so this is very simple and in fact if we want to ramp up say for example so we can increase the thread count to 100 so after the 60th second we can increase it So what we can try is we can increase the user load from 10 user and then we can increase it to 20 users and the same way we can increase the thread count so let me add it, make it up to 5 and then le let's have a maximum of 30 users with the initial delay and then the startup second is going to be just five seconds and then we'll hold it for so we can change it we will hold it for 30 seconds for each of the user load and let's
let's see how does it work so let's now start the test so here we can see very clearly that the test starts with 10 users and then we add another 20 user load and then after that we add another 30 user load so here we can see that it starts with 10 user load for the first 60 for the first 30 seconds and then we increase the load to another 20 users which is 30 and then we add another 60 users so if what if we increase the whole time to 60 seconds so this will have this particular 10 users to execute for a long time and then in case if we want increasing the whole time here for the next 20 users so here we can see automatically the user count has increased and if we increase it for the last 60 seconds for the 30 users and here we can see that test has got extended and in case if we want to have only the last 30 users that is after the 30 users the last 31st to 60 users to run their test for 120 seconds so we can even increase it so for now let's have this test so here we can see a clear ramp up of the users very clearly they they ramp up for the first five seconds and then they execute for the next 60 seconds and then they slowly ramp down so let's run the test and see how does it work and before that let's move this HTTP request to the ultimate thread group and then we will move all these listeners or the graphs to the ultimate thread group and let's see how does it work So here we can see that we were able to achieve the thread groups the maximum user load so until one minute or 15 seconds so we were able to achieve it so we were able to reach the maximum thread group and then slowly there is a ramp down for each of these users so with that we were able to achieve the ultimate thread group so let's now move on to the next thread group which is the concurrency thread group and let's see the difference between this thread groups between with the other thread groups so here we can see that in the stepping thread group we have the number of threads and the ramp up time and the ramp down time and how much time does the user has to hold and then we have used this ultimate thread group where we have designed the increase in the user load and then the steady state and then the ramp down and then when we come to the concurrency thread group so here we have the target concurrency where we can give the number of users and the ramp up time say for example of a 10 sec 10 minute but we can keep it up keep it as one minute for now and then the ramp up step count so if, say for example if we have 100 users we can increase the count by five so that for every 12 seconds we can increase the users and then how much time do we need to run the test say for example if we want to run the test for one minute we can have this in in 60 minutes so that we can run the entire duration of the test and this actually helps us a lot since it is too simple to define so we define the total users we define the ramp up time the ramp up steps in case if we want to give this like for every second we want to ramp up the users we can make divide this user count by the time and then we can also easily define the number of or the duration of the test and here in this thread iterations limit we can define it say for example if we want to run the thread iterations limit to 100 so we can divide that and then the log thread status into file in case if we want to define that into a file but basically the very basic things which we have to declare is the target concurrency the ramp up time the ramp up steps count and then the whole target time there is a duration of the load test so let's now move on to the next 
thread group which is the arrivals thread group so let's add the arrivals thread group and let's see what's the difference in it so this arrival thread groups works with the thread iteration which starts schedule as a way to describe or determine the load and this arrival means the start of the thread iteration and that is how this arrival thread group works so in this we could see the ta thread target rate see for example how much arrivals do we expect for every minute and we can define it as 10 for now and the ramp up time is going to be 1 and the ramp up steps if we make it as 5 so which means for every 2 like for every 5 counts so we divide the total targets into 5 and in case if we want to divide still further we can divide it as 10 and if you want to have it as a single ramp up so we can make it as one and in case we can if we can divide into multiple ramp up steps and again we have the option of defining the duration of the test say for example in minutes so in even in case if we want to define that in seconds we have that option of doing it so then we can even define that in seconds for now let's make it to minutes so this is how we define it and then the thread iterations limit where which we see that in the concurrency thread group so same but we have one more additional option which is the concurrency limit so which we can define it as 100 for now and let's so this is how the the concurrency limit and the arrival thread groups work and then we have the next one which is the last one which is the free form arrival thread group so let's see that and let's see the difference between that thread group with the other one the arrivals free form arrivals thread group here and this is similar to what we have seen in the active threads i mean the ultimate thread group where we have we can define the start value and value so for now let me add the start value to one and the end value is going to be 10 which is the number of arrival rate and then the duration is going to be 60 and then i add another where I define the number of start value is going to be 10 and then the end value is going to be 20 and this is going to run for another 60 so same way I can add any number of arrival with the start value and the and the end arrival values so this will actually give a different perspective of how do we run the test but I mostly prefer you taking or trying the stepping thread group or the ultimate thread group or active thread groups over time so these are the very basic threads we normally use during the test so I sorry I will prefer stepping thread group ultimate thread group the concurrency thread group so these are the three basic thread groups which i would recommend you trying this and in case if you want to try some proof of concept where you want to define the thread groups or you want to define the thread groups in a different manner you can try this arrival thread group but the basic thread groups which i would recommend is the stepping thread group the ultimate and then the trend uh, the concurrency thread group so with that i think we have seen about the basic thread groups which is the additional plugin which is the custom thread groups i believe this video would have been very useful to you until we meet you with another interesting video it's bye from us and let us law